Hi there everyone, welcome to another episode of the Weekly Roundup. This week is our company offsite, so we're coming to you from beautiful Athens. This week we're talking about NVIDIA's data literacy efforts in Africa, a big announcement from PyTorch, and an AI art piece that won an art competition and sparked a heated debate in the art world. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss an update on the latest and greatest in data science. In our first story this week, NVIDIA is collaborating with the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa to support more informed policymaking and accelerate how resources are allocated. Known as the United AI Alliance, the initiative is led by the UNECA and will empower African countries' national statistical offices by providing AI hardware, training, and ecosystem support. Future Tech, a Fort Lauderdale-based IT solution provider, is the Alliance's inaugural funding partner and will help with the purchase and distribution of workstation PCs, GPUs, and other important tech needed for government statistics offices to start becoming data-driven. NVIDIA is also leading the charge to make census data more accessible, with Keith Stryer, the VP of AI Nations at NVIDIA, saying this is the first time many of these countries will be digitizing their census efforts, which represents a potential goldmine of data. Many of the continent's developers are part of local technology communities, including groups like the Kenya-based AI Center of Excellence or the non-profit organization Data Science Africa. United AI Alliance, along with NVIDIA, is pairing many of these developers with governments to drive new data analysis projects. We can't wait to see governments in Africa working to improve their organizational data capabilities through this new partnership. In our next story this week, the company behind Stable Diffusion are in talks to receive funding at a possible valuation of $1 billion. After its public release three weeks ago, Stable Diffusion has joined the likes of DALI2 and Midjourney as one of the most popular AI image generating services taking the world by storm. Now, after a round of talks with investment company Coetu with the firm at a $500 million valuation, Stability AI, the firm behind the image generator, are reportedly in talks with Lightspeed Venture Partners, who have the firm valued at $1 billion. By virtue of it being open source, Stability AI's underlying technology is free to use. So far, the company reportedly doesn't have a clear business model in place, but is working with YouTube personality Yannick Kilcher to pen deals with governments and leading institutions. Unlike DALI2 and Midjourney, Stable Diffusion doesn't have the safety rails in place to prevent users from generating harmful content or for the software being trained on copyrighted images. In spite of this, or perhaps because of it, the company has received a lot of support for its free, open source nature. Like everyone else, we're really excited about the future of AI image generation, and all eyes will definitely be on any big acquisition plays made on these companies. In our next story, Meta have announced that PyTorch will be transitioning into a new independent PyTorch foundation under the Linux Foundation nonprofit umbrella. The purpose of this shift is to better facilitate growth for the framework, with Meta saying that the PyTorch Foundation will act as a responsible steward for the technology and support PyTorch through conferences, training courses, and other initiatives. With some 2,400 contributors who have built more than 150,000 projects on the framework, PyTorch has become one of the most popular platforms for AI research and commercial production use. Given its open source, community-driven DNA, Meta have promised that all releases, features, and technical direction will continue to be driven by the PyTorch community, from individual code contributors all the way through to module maintainers. Meta will also continue to invest in PyTorch and use it as their primary framework for AI research and production applications to the company. What do you think about this transition? Let us know in the comments. In our final story this week, an AI-generated art piece won first place at the Colorado State Fair's fine art competition, and artists are not happy. Jason Allen, president of Colorado-based tabletop gaming company Incarnate Games, entered the competition with this image, titled Théâtre d'Opéra Spatial. In the Mid-Journey Discord server, he confirmed that he knew the entry would be controversial and wanted to draw attention to the human input required for AI-generated images. Allen says, I've been exploring a special prompt that I'll be publishing at a later date. I've created hundreds of images, and after many weeks of fine-tuning, I chose my top three and had them printed on canvas. This notion has been rejected by many artists on Twitter, who aren't happy that creative jobs are under threat from machines. One tweet said, We're watching the death of artistry unfold before our eyes. Another tweet said, Let's pretend AI art didn't exist for a second. Someone sends an artist a bunch of prompts, the artist does art, and sends it back to the person who wrote the prompts. That person then enters the art into a competition under their own name and wins. That's unethical. We'd love to hear what you think about AI art in the comments below. That's it for another weekly roundup. 
Thanks for joining us and let us know what your favorite story of the week is in the comments. Don't forget to make sure you're subscribed so that you never miss another update on the latest and greatest in data science. And we'll see you same time, different place next week. <laughs>